Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Darius, and this video is for the grass. It should cost a billion to look that good. Um, this past weekend was Malik's birthday, and I have to get back in the groove now of doing videos. Um, but I was really very much on a vacation. Um, really, the vacation was hard work. Um, I don't. I'm, I'm not in college anymore. I ain't got it in me. I swear, as soon as I got my cap and gown, it was clipped. As soon as I got the cap and gown, it was clipped. I don't hang. Don't ask me to go out. I don't want a marg. I don't want you know. I don't want a sprite in, in a vod. I don't want none of it. Don't ask me to be out past 12 a.m. I can't do it. Um, dang near 12 p.m. Don't call, don't text. Um, but I am at Dave's Hot Chicken right now, and I'm about to actually tear into this food. Um, I was gonna go to Wingstop, but I just, I don't know, I couldn't do it because it was the first time I've had Wingstop like twice in the past week, and also, um, there, it's like on a street and I can't do it because I don't know where to park and stuff like that. So here I am at Dave's Hot Chicken, a little ways away from my house. Um, and I wanted to try their new, their new, it's been like a year, maybe, I don't know, not a year, but like six months at least for the, that they've had these cauliflower bite things and chicken sandwiches and stuff. And that's what I want to try. So today you're going to be with me and we're going to be talking about something that I'm scared about, but, uh, we'll see. Um, they gave me extra Dave's hot, Dave's sauce or whatever it's called. It used to come, I don't know if you guys remember if the OGs remember when I was with Nicole, which I want to see her uh, again soon and i think that i will but i just don't know when yet i need to go back and do my rounds of like going to visit people and seeing people and stuff um because i haven't seen or done anything it's crazy how life just goes on and continues and people just like you know drift apart but anyways um i'm probably going to go see nicole and the last time i was at uh in vegas or no i think it was houston we went to dave's dave's hot chicken it was my first time trying it and they used to have the dave's um sauces in like a packet almost but it was a kind of a cool packet it wasn't like a ketchup packet and now they're in containers so it's interesting um i got extra hot on my okay so these are the, the cauliflower bites and i got regular hot and then i got extra hot on the chicken sandwich i'm just kind of scared i don't know what it's gonna she was like trying to explain it to me because i asked her like what is that what how hot is it and i should have remembered because i i have a vague memory that it was like really spicy last time when i got it so i don't know guys wish me luck um okay so i got every single dave's hot sauce i mean dave's sauce that they've had um in the entire establishment because they gave me four extra and then one is in here and i bet you there's one in there as well it comes with pickles and fries um and there's a slaw on it i guess and then this is the extra hot one she tried to say it was like flame hot cheeto hot she said <laughs> no she was like have you had a flame hot cheeto and i was like yeah she was like okay so it's like the extra hot version I guess is what she was trying to explain it like. I don't know. Oh, and then I got a side of mac and cheese. So I guess I'm a real mukbanger today. Wait, I have a tray. Where's my tray at? I don't know if I'm going to do the tray, but we're going to see. Cut. Cut the cameras. You guys are so mad that I'm a real mukbanger. Um, anyways, let's just do one tray at a time. I feel like I'm giving a little bit of a duality. Um, so we're going to try these. Um, whatever these are. They're the Dave's Not Chicken Cauliflower ones. These are like really hot. Um, not in spice wise, but we'll, we'll see. Um... But they're really hot because um, I got them freshly done. I didn't ask them. You guys know how I am. I probably wouldn't have been able to do that. But we're going to try these and see if it's good. Um, back when I was a vegetarian, do you guys remember those days? Okay. They tore it up. They ate it down. To the ground. Um, This is actually iconic. I think it's it's way better than I thought it was going to be. It's crispity. It's crunchity. Um, it's, the hot is spicy, though. And I'm worried about the extra hot now, guys. Please! Uh, she didn't warn me. She said, yeah, it's just like a little, like, an extra from my Cheeto, you know? Um, that's really good. I'm very, it's like very crunchy on the outsides. I usually, I'm, I'm used to like mushy. I guess these are fresh, so. 
Do you guys hear that crunch? And I love the Dave's Hot um, sauce. Some people don't like it because I think it's mayo based, but. Very good. I don't know if you guys hear that crunch. But it's delicious. Okay. Um, let me try the mac and cheese. I remember, I don't think I liked this last time. But I forgot that they, that I tried it. All this is coming back to me now that I'm looking at it. Okay. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> but the best um i never think that like well it's pretty good but mm, i'm always thinking about maybe like um what is it called baked mac and cheese instead of like whatever this is mm. but i'm thoroughly shocked do you guys see it i mean i guess it doesn't look like a <laughs> it looks like a fried piece of, of cauliflower did you know, I'm always giving you an interesting factoid. Did you know that, um, and do your own research, um, but I always say that. Is that even helpful? Do your own research, but I'm about to tell you something. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? So cauliflower and like, I don't know if it's specifically cauliflower, but I know like broccoli and kale and um, what else is there? Brussels sprouts are all manipulations of the mustard plant. Like, we like, what am I trying to say? Like, we created those. Like, they didn't They didn't exist. Like, we just changed the genome of the things to make it. And I think that's kind of iconic. Did you hear that crunch? If you have, oh, I almost dipped the pickle in there. <laughs> if you have a Dave's Hot Chicken, even if you're not vegetarian or vegan or whatever, these are good. Um, if you're trying to be on a... Can I stop doing that? <laughs> I'm sure these are lower calorie than the actual... Because they have regular chicken bites and I didn't get them. Um, this is good. And I'm very shocked. I was like, I'm not going to eat all these. I was just going to try them on camera, but now I have to eat all these first before I eat the other one. Um, the hot level... For this, it's not too spicy, but I think this is a perfect, like, it's just, you know, it's spicy. That's going to be, okay, this is pretty spicy. And I'm going to be thinking about it every bite. I kind of forgot that this is hot. When I'm not talking, that's how you know they ate it. Now, they might have tried it with the bread. I don't know if I'm into... The ooh. And this bread... Ooh, no, ma'am. This bread is hard as all get out. <laughs> Why would they do that? I get people having... Well, some people like stale bread with their... Is that true or did I make that up? I swear somebody told me people like... Some people like stale bread. But I think that's with barbecue. When you... Um, can sop it up with the sauce. There ain't no sauce on this bread at all. It's just white bread. And it's hard, so I don't know what to tell you. Um, take the first bite. Take the first bite. Uh, um, where are Dave's Hot Chickens? Because, wow, Dave's Hot Chickens, really? Um, where where are the, I guess it is true, where, where are the Dave's Hot Chickens at? Because I feel like I had it in, I didn't have it in Tucson. I think they're in Arizona, though, no? Oh, no, I did have one in Tucson. They just made it, though, like, right before I left, like, Maybe a year before I left. They had just made one. And then I had it in Houston. And I think that they probably have it in Vegas. I don't remember, though. But um, I didn't think that they were going to have them in Chicago. But they do. Look at the inside. I don't know. Um, very good. And if I was a vegetarian, I would be coming in to get this all the time. So what now?
the only thing about eating stuff like this is that I just know with vegetables and stuff like that, or when you're vegetarian, you have to eat a pretty high volume to not be hungry after two hours. Because your body breaks down the energy or uses your food as energy quick, more quick than when it's just vegetables. I think. Don't quote me on that. Before I have a doctor in my comments going, stop spreading this info. <laughs> I would scream. That's why I was saying, you know how people say allegedly? Mine is always, do your own research. Um, because it's hard for me to like, know every single thing. Like I'm not gonna, the things that I, that I say, I mean, not know every single thing, but the things that I say, um, I obviously saw somewhere else. And so I'm not able to always replicate it 100. Ooh, I'm spitting in my car and I just gotta clean. Um, I'm not always rep able to replicate it 100%. And I'm really sweating because it's hot in here. Um, so I don't want to like be liable for like spreading misinformation. So I always say, please, by your own merit, just to, if you really want to know, go do your own research and just say, well, Darius told me and his word is is um, good. I'm not saying my, my word is not good. Oh my goodness. Please. Uh, uh, please. Anyways, you guys see that, um, that thing, this, where my finger's at? Um... What is that? I'm trying to think what that was. Oh, that's when I had to put temporary tags in my car. And that duct tape did not play. <laughs> that duct tape did not play. That that temporary tag wanted to be permanent. Um, it wanted to be permanent. And I had to take it off. And I was going, what was that? And now I have adhesive on my car. So what now? Um... Okay, so I tried the mac and cheese. I tried the cauliflower bites. Um, apparently, you know, I'm I'm burning up. And now I need to try the other one, which I really feel like I just should have gotten, like, the cauliflower sandwich now and maybe the extra hot because that was really good, and I'm very shocked and surprised. Um, but I don't know. And now I have to go back to, to real chicken, guys. Real chicken for real. Um, and we are going to get to the title of this video. Don't worry, it's coming. I just need to eat my food first. Gosh, guys. Do you guys like the tray? Because I think it works way better now than whatever I had. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before. The, I have an issue with this already. Um, the bun is very soft. Love that. I have a feeling that this was made um, in yesteryear. And maybe, you know, under a heat lamp or something like that. They have some kind of... I think the Dave's hot sauce is on here. I mean, the Dave's sauce whatever hot chicken sauce i don't even know what it's called it's on here and it's like congealed do you know what I, you know when it like changes color it's oxidized oh, and that's giving me give me a little bit of heebie jeebies um giving me the heebie jeebies so i don't know um okay let's try it this is very thick and you know it's just tenders i think the bun is so soft like i don't i don't even know how to explain how soft it is like it is extremely soft um, like a pillow. All right. Should I dip it in the sauce? Or no, I'll just try it. This is the extra hot version. Let's see. Take the first bite. <laughs> I never get over to take the first bite. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. 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 Um. Okay. One second. Y'all should have took the first bite for real. Because that'll be my last one. Yeah. Um. <laughs> What was that? I don't know what actually happened. The reason why I kept on looking inside is because it looks totally fine. But whatever piece I just got, I don't know. 
know. It felt like I went to, you know, like a chicken farm and just grabbed the chicken and took a bite out of it. Really, you know, didn't care which part, you know, uh, very much uh, uh, cartilage. Maybe I took the beak, you know. Um, they didn't need any of this. I don't know what I'm what, what that was, and I don't know. There was a, at the end you saw I was chewing. It was something really just just chewing. It was chewing back, and I didn't like that at all, actually. Um, so what was that? And now I want my cauliflower chicken. Please come switch this out. Give me the cauliflower chicken, please. And now I feel like I'm down south at a a rally, and and it's hot, and I probably just put. And I did look at this stuff on my face now because I did that. Um, okay, so that's interesting. I think I'm going to eat that last piece of the cauliflower and maybe try another. I'll try another bite for you guys. I know you guys hate when I do that. The fries are pretty okay. The, this just tastes like it was already done. And that extra hot is not hot like the, the cauliflower one was. But I know for a fact the cauliflower one was, um, was fresh because she was like, let me go um, drop them or whatever she said. Um, and they were delicious. But you guys already know how I am. I have a, I think I have a meat aversion. <laughs> I didn't even know that like, that was a thing, but I went on TikTok and there was somebody talking about some meat aversion. And I said, oh, what is that? Um, and she was talking about how she has to cut up her chicken, like, into like unrecognizable, like small pieces. Um, like they're, t it's almost like a mash. Because uh, like, it, think of like rice. It's like almost like that. Like she has to like break it apart that thin so that she can like mix it with things so that she doesn't throw up. And I think I have that gaze eating a evening. Uh, I'm just kidding. Don't you hate when people, uh, every time they see somebody else have something, I think that I, I think I probably have that. That's probably what I got too. Cause I, I, I one time I, that happened to me. So, um, but no, I, it doesn't happen to me all the time, but I do, you guys know how I am. It's just like some days are better than others. Like I just can't, I think about the fact that it's an animal, not that I'm thinking about how this is an animal, but I don't, I can't do any gristle. It needs to be very much smooth. And the te I think it needs to be the texture of breast or like, no, there can't be fat or cartilage or veins or anything like that. Otherwise I'll be grossed out. Um, so I'm going to try this one more time and I promise you. If I get any kind of um, aversion to the chicken, it will be in a napkin. Don't test me. Um, I'm very surprised about the bun. But I always think like when buns at fast food places are like this soft, there's something going, what are we putting in our bodies? Because this is crazy. Like this is like, I don't even know. How did they eat this? Because obviously the sand, this chicken is old, but the, I guess the bun is not. They didn't play. All right, this looks pretty good. Like the bite's gonna be good. Let's try it guys. That was not as bad, um, but I think I found the culprit. There's like a little side piece um, on this thing, and it very much isn't good. And I almost took a bite out of it the second time, but I let it go. I let the side piece go. Um, I realized it wasn't doing me any good, so I kind of scooted it out of my mouth. Scooted it. Um, and some of y'all need to take tips. Um, but anyways, so no, I won't be eating the rest of this. Actually, I might. I might later, because I always literally spend so much money at these places. And then I go, do, 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 do. I make a video and say, well, I'm done. So, oh! Ah! I'm going home. <sighs> I almost had a heart attack. I thought this was going to follow me for real. But what was screaming gonna do, Darius? Really, quickly now. What was it gonna do? Help it from falling? Really? No, it wasn't. Um, 
I just cleaned my car. I'm a vi I'm a little bit like, you know, I want to keep it that way. Let me talk to you about two, one thing, actually, before I get to the, the main point of the video. Um, I'm bringing that back so I can eat my mac and cheese and my um my cauliflower bite. Because I don't eat meat anymore, guys. I'm just kidding. But um, I went to go get my car washed. And this is has got to be top five dead or alive most embarrassing things I've ever experienced. Um, but you guys know I am. I basically went to go get my car washed. And I was like, because it was horrific, actually. And I don't even know where to go around here to get my car washed. Um, and I wanted to go someplace where I could dump my trash. And, I don't know, get my car washed. And I didn't care if it was like I had to do it myself or if, if I was paying someone else to do it. But I literally drove like maybe 20 something minutes away to get like out of the city. And then I went to a car wash. Um, I dumped all my trash or whatever. And then I ended up leaving that car wash. Is that mean? Because I, I, it was like a self-serve car wash thing. Um, but they were talking about some, you know, you got you had to put a, 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 put in a penny um a candy wrapper and three raspberries to get the <laughs> to get the water to come out and i said oh no ma'am i was like this is too much it was actually just coins but i was like girl what what year is this um i was about to say two it's not even a two what year is this for real um for me to have to only use coins and they wanted me to go to the um whatever the station was to change to exchange cash for coin and I said, dang, like, y'all need to get with the times. I'm, I need to go to a place that, that accept Bitcoin. Um, what What is Bitcoin? You know, I know nothing about that. Like, I just know what it is, like, or the, what the name is. Whatever. Isn't that, like, canceled now? Like, it's not real anymore. But anyways, um, I want to go to the places that accept Bitcoin because that means they're with the times. This, pl this place very much, you had to, um, you definitely had to give them, you had to do a ritual um, before they could actually give you um, any kind of compressed air for your tires or give you some water for the car or vacuum and I said absolutely not so all I did there was dump my trash and I left um and I actually didn't pay him a cent so um but I obviously didn't have to I just threw my stuff in the trash can cam but anyway so I left I went down the street and I found this other place that actually does the car wash but I didn't know what I was doing right it was my first time there um so I get to the car wash and I drive in or whatever and this man like, first of all, they're all, like, work, are hard at work. Everyone who's there. And I'm, like, waiting, like, for someone to come up to my car and be like, hey, so, like, what do you want? So, no one comes up to me for, like, five minutes. So, I, I keep my window rolled down, expecting someone to come down and, like, or come and talk to me. Um, and so, this guy comes and talks to me. And I'm like, I've never been here before. So, like, can you explain to me how this process works? Because it, it wasn't self-explanatory. It wasn't like a chain. It was like a, a it seemed like a one and done place. Um, and so then the uh, the guy says, uh, I don't speak English. Obviously, he didn't say it like that. But he said, I don't speak English. And so I'm thinking, I'm like, this is where I come in because, you know, I grew I mean, I went to college in Tucson and I studied Spanish for, <laughs> I studied Spanish for, you know, as long as I can remember. So um, let me just quickly formulate a sentence. Um, when I tell you I froze, I'm so embarrassed. Like, I literally froze in my tracks. The guy was like, I don't speak English. And all I wanted to say was, which this is kind of a lot. I was I wanted to say what I was going to say in English, what I told him in English, rather, um, in Spanish. Like, this is my first time here. How does this work? And I think for me, and a lot of, probably a lot of other, like, s s people who have Spanish as a second language, or any other s second language at all, if you didn't learn it when you were young, sometimes you freeze when you're in the beginning processes of learning it, when you're trying to be in a situation with somebody who's a native speaker. Because you have to think about what you want to say, you know, maybe you only learned it on an app, or maybe in a, in a classroom, but you never had any real world experience. So now you're actually talking to someone who's native speaking. They're speaking at the speed of literal light. Um, everything is mending together. And I don't know if like, if you're bilingual, um, can you explain to me if you think that English speakers speak, if you're bilingual and you speak Spanish and English, do you think that English speakers speak faster or Spanish speak speakers speak faster? Dang, I'm giving you a tongue twister as I'm saying that. Um, I think that I think that English speak, speakers speak fast. But I think that they both do. I guess if you're comfortable with the language, you can speak as fast as you want to and people will probably understand. Um, 
I think that like I speak sometimes I'm like watching back a video I'm like why did I say that so fast and now that I'm saying that right now I'm trying to slow down my words so you can hear everything that I'm saying but normally I would have said that really fast and so if if somebody was listening to this is not a native English speaker and they don't speak English that well, but they know a little bit, they probably can't decipher what I'm saying because I'm speaking at the speed of light. Um, and that is what he was doing to me. So what now? And I said, oh, and I froze immediately and I was so embarrassed and we just literally smiled at each other. Do you know how embarrassing that is? We said, and then he called somebody over who spoke better English. And I said, hey, how y'all doing? Um, sorry about that. I don't, didn't, I don't really know how to speak Spanish. Um, which is embarrassing because, like, I feel like speaking Spanish will be so useful. Like, everywhere you go in the United States, there's going to be Hispanic people who um, who speak Spanish. So I need to learn it. And what now? Um, and I've been trying to learn it, but I think I need real world situations. I need to go to a, a, a Spanish speaking country um, and and like immerse myself in the culture and the language and be able to understand people who speak fast. Um, but anyways, I got my car wash and they ate it down. Actually, I've never had a, a better car wash for the price that it was. I think that they charged me, I think it was like $28 or something, but it was exterior, interior. They washed it. I mean, they wiped down everything. Um, it took a long time. Like I assume, you know, at those places that I feel like they'd be 40 bucks now for it in, for an interior and exterior base. Like, um, I think it was like, uh, like I said, it was like 28 or $29 and they actually ate, um, they wiped down everything in the car. They really, they really could, t I could tell they were doing a thorough job. Like I was watching them do it like from the waiting room or whatever. Um, and they were actually cleaning every single thing, um, and vacuuming every single thing and going under this and that, um, uh, making sure that the tires were, were shining and all that other stuff for $28. I feel like it's really good. Or I think that the end, the end might've been $28. I don't know, but I gave them like a twelve or thirteen dollar tip because I was like, they definitely deserve that. Um, normally, I would never give a thirteen dollar tip because usually I feel like when I was in Ohio and I would get my car washed, I would go and then I would um, get in the car and there would be like just simple things on the steering wheel or on the door that's like just dirt, and I'd be like, what is this? Like I just got my car washed, like and they were in here. Um, so I don't know, but they did a very good job, and they, they could you could tell that they were thorough about. They're specific, I mean, uh, without, sorry, they were thorough with which car, whichever car they were working on. And it wasn't like, oh, I got to quickly get to this next car that's coming in. They really were making sure everything was good. So I applaud them. I forgot what the name was called. I should have um, looked at it so I could have um, shouted them out. But they actually ate. Um, okay, let's talk about me going back home. Um, <gasps> I am going back home very soon, actually. Um, probably on the weekend of the 8th, April 8th, or like, no, 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 April 7th or whatever day it is that weekend. Um, and I'm going to go visit my mom and dad. Um, I have, so I had something really special planned and now I'm embarrassed because my mom already knew what it was. I was literally like, okay, I'm clear schedule that weekend. Like I'm going to take you to do something on April 8th and I'll tell you what it is now, I guess. Um, and she said, oh, are we going to see the, um, the eclipse? I said, I'm not coming home anymore. Um, because I was going to do this whole like thing where I was going to surprise my mom. Cause I didn't think she knew about it at all. I was going to surprise my mom, take her to go see the eclipse. And then, um, and then what was I going to say? Probably go somewhere else, not just be in Ohio. Um, I was probably going to go to Dallas and like fly her out to Dallas or something like that. But now she knows about it and I'm embarrassed. So we got to go to Indianapolis. That's all I can do for you. I'm sorry. Uh, I, it was going to be a cute trip and I can't do it anymore. Um, no, but I, I think it's a lot anyways to try to go to Dallas. Um, this such short notice and stuff like that. And like uh, my dad has to be at the warehouse and things like that. So we probably won't do any of that. Now, if you aren't already privy to the eclipse, every single person who is... Let me start naming the cities and you'll start seeing the path of where it's going to be. Um, if you don't know, an eclipse is when the moon, the sorry, the earth, the moon and the sun are completely aligned so that the moon looks like uh, it's like blocking the sun in the middle of the day. And there's a ring that goes around the moon and it's a, and it's basically the sun shining on the outsides. So this year it is extremely special that we have eclipses like. I don't know how often they are, but they happen like every 17 months or 16 months or 
some something like that it's like every year or so like it's not very it's not super super rare or anything like that but this one is rare because this specific um eclipse is going to be um the the path of totality so i don't know how to explain this very correctly but basically there's it's going to be eclipse in in the united states right it's not going to be everywhere because the sun from i mean the moon from different angles is going to going to look different over the sun you can't be like all the way over here and still see the this the moon in perfect alignment right let me try to give you an example um like this if you are if i show you this side from this way you can see both the sun and the moon right but if you're straight on now you see the eclipse perfectly so the total eclipse this is happening and sh it's going to be shown to 50 million americans and that is like I don't know if it's unprecedented, but at least for a long time, that, that won't happen again. So people who are in the path of totality who will be able to see that are going to be along the lines of, I know Buffalo, New York is going to have a period of time where it's totality. I know um, there's a place in in Indiana, like it's going to be basically the, the east, the Midwest, all the way through Texas. So like Dallas is going to have it. Um, I think there was another place in, in Texas, but it's going to be that whole, like all the way up. Think about that. Think of like, a um, you know, the, the New York area all the way down through, you know, Illinois, a little bit, um, Ohio area, Indiana, and then all the way down through Texas. That whole band is going to have places that have complete totality. So it's going to be perfectly centered. Um, and Dallas specifically has one of the longest times of the country. The, the moon will be over the sun for, I want to say, just under four minutes. Um, and they said that this specific eclipse is going to be one of the greatest, um, like, otherworldly events that you can witness as a human um, for a very long time. Um, an eclipse is something already iconic. And I don't know how I've never even been somewhere that and seen one. I don't think I've ever been in an eclipse or seen one. Um, so I guess it is kind of like rare that it's going to be available to this many people. And then at first I was like, let me just take my mom. But then I was like, why would I take my mom only when this is something that won't happen for a millennia? That would be so bogus to my dad to be like, yeah, you're going to have to stay at home and whatever. So then I was like, let's all go. Um, but then we still have to worry about the, the warehouse and shipping out the orders and things like that. If you haven't already, you should go get your, uh, do they have any jarred sauce anymore? I think they sold out. Um, but they very much have the hot sauces and the regular sauces and stock at BeLivesLife.com. But anyways, um, so yeah, I wanted to take her. And so I am going to go back home for, um, for her birthday and I'm going to film that. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I'm sure you guys want us, me and my mom to film videos. So I'll probably go like a week beforehand and film a couple videos with my mom to post on here. Um, and yeah, that's basically the gist of me going back home. Okay, let's talk about the second piece of this. Um, this lifestyle is hard. Okay, I'm, um, Chicago is expensive as, as all get out and I'm sure you guys already knew that. Um, Chicago is expensive as all get out and I knew it was going to be expensive. Um, but this is like really just so crazy. Like I'm paying for so much stuff. Um, my rent is extremely expensive. Obviously I haven't given you guys, given you guys a, an apartment tour yet, but you guys will see, um, um, why I'm paying as much as I'm paying. I'm, I'm in a very good location. It's a very nice building, all of that stuff. Right. But also in tandem with that, um, it is literally the worst time to be moving anywhere. Like I'm, I'm locked in at a really high price for my apartment, uh, because of the timing that we're in. Like, I think my apartment, like this time last year, um, like the, the two bedroom, what is it? Two bedroom, two bath or two bedroom, one and a half bath plus, right. Was like a thousand dollars less than what I'm paying on average in Chicago. So I'm paying a lot of money. Um, and obviously I have never paid this much for rent. I'm kind of like really experiencing paying rent in full, um, because I, I mean, not in full, I've obviously paid rent in full before, but in Tucson, the rent in full was only seven, $800 max that I ever paid in all my years there. So yeah, um, it's getting difficult. Okay. It's getting real difficult and, um, I'm trying and and the thing is, is also I'm in the midst of trying to change my content. Um, and do more things. I want to be on TikTok. Just found out this morning that TikTok is very possibly going to be banned from the United States. That's a whole nother discussion from a whole, for a whole nother day. Um, but the point is, is that I really want to, um, uh, you know, make sure I'm doing what I need to do to revamp all the things that I want to revamp. 
Um, I'm not going to tell you all the things that I'm doing just yet. I'm always doing that. Um, but everything that you on this channel, you've been seeing, obviously I've been doing vlogs and I want to do more of that kind of stuff. Um, I'll, every once in a while I have a, a mini mukbang by myself. I'm going to be doing mukbangs with Malik, like I said. Um, I'm going to be vlogging around downtown Chicago. Um, and I want to be doing things that you guys want to see because like, there's no excuse here. There's all these different types of things that you can do. Um, but what I do feel though, is that there are the people who are on my channel or who are subscribed or whatever. Um, a lot of people, not everyone, obviously the people who are here right now who like still care about mukbangs are still here, but there are a lot of people who only like to see one thing or they're tired of me or they're tired of mukbangs or whatever the case may be and so they're subscribed and they'll watch every once in a while but like if i'm talking about a steady base of, of people who will watch anything i probably usually will get like 20 to thirty thousand views which is very good i'm not complaining because i know there are people oh there's something in my eye oh, i know there are people who get less than that um so i'm not complaining but i'm just saying that i want to be able to do things that people are going to want to watch is all i'm saying um and usually that is and youtube kind of tells you what uh, what your subscribers are watching um lots of chicken videos lots of mukbangs obviously in general Who, what am i expecting everyone on this channel knew me through mukbangs um so or not everyone i guess there are some people who found me otherwise but um if you guys haven't listened to Eternal Sunshine by um, Ariana Grande, I think that you definitely should. I know that there are some people... Well, Eternal Sunshine is like kind of like... Ugh, mm, I feel like it's pop slash R&B. It's not really R&B, but I think that you guys would like the album if you are into that. Um, but I also feel like if you know about the album already, you're more likely to have already listened to it and enjoy it instead of the people who I'm trying to tell who probably don't even listen to Ariana Grande at all. Um, but Ariana Grande is black adjacent. I'm so sorry. She had a black period. <laughs> she had a she had a black she had a uh, scandal. Uh, um, people called her Black Iana. Um, and I think that she just makes music for the girls. I'm so sorry. Um, and I think that there are other pop stars who you can tell are heavily like white focused. I won't name any names. Um, but I think that the black community, I think that we can um, get down to a little bit of Ariana Grande. Um, and that's why I'm there. So, and she eats it. So sorry. So if you haven't, you should do that. Um, I'm going to end this video here since it's been 35 minutes. And I'm about to actually sweat um, through my shirt. And my sweat. <laughs> You just don't look at that. Um, I, I'm sweating through my shirt right now. But I'll see you guys next time with another video. This is just a quick little mukbang to kind of catch you guys up on me seeing my, my mom suit and my dad and going back home and the good old days. But um, I'll see you guys next time with another video. Peace out.